Ma'am, 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 please, can we, you, oh, oh, yeah, but I have him on speakerphone so okay. we can sort this out, right? All right. I want everything that was mine out. Uh, you took my stuff in my light. Everything, turn my lights off. He's still using my lights, everything. Everything in there was mine. He okay. gave it away. Okay. Uh, I mean, so what, what, what would say? Like, I, I want I mean, him, I want something to happen. I want him arrested, son. He's going to give me my stuff or something. Okay, so, so I mean, what would say, like, obviously, if, if your property was given to a whole bunch of different people, the likelihood of him tracking all those people down and getting it back is so slim to none. So, what she doesn't understand is when she goes to sue me, she's going to open herself up for the $15,000 of rent she owes me. So it's really not going to bother me that she sues me because I'm a power sewer. You know, like... She you know, owes you... Like, you like, she owes you 15... She owes you $15,000? Oh, oh, yeah, she has been paying rent in a year and a half. Whatever, whatever COVID started and Cuomo said, hey, look, man, she ain't paid. And then on top of that, on top of that, they had to play a game with me now after she left. It just don't stop. I had a stove in there, and I don't care if, you know, you might not want to hear it. The stove was two years old. Code enforcement made me change her stove. She wouldn't clean her stove. And if I didn't change it, I couldn't evict her. But if I couldn't change it, and, uh, if I didn't change it, they'd find me. That's just, this yeah. shit with landlords, crazy. She, she, yeah, she told me about the stove situation. I'm going to give her this information to give to her legal aid so your guys' lawyers can communicate with each other to see if there can be some resolution, whether it's you have to do something or nothing at all, or whether they determine she's wrong, you're wrong, both of you guys are wrong, and how to go, to, how to go about it. Um, but I do know... Um, the reason why these are being taken slightly more serious is because was what Cuomo passed, I think it was last year, the unlawful eviction where landlords, I'm not saying you did, but I'm saying if something is done and it's confirmed 100% inappropriate, um, they can be arrested for unlawful eviction. And eviction is not in terms of like an actual eviction, like just changing the locks when you're not legally allowed to or various other things. Um, could qualify as that charge. It's like a misdemeanor in the state of New York. So, she, she surrendered. Uh, my point is that she surrendered the keys to me. So how did I unlawfully? Right. No, no, I, sir. I'm, what I'm saying is I'm not accusing you of that. Like that. That her right. allegation. You're saying she did. She's saying you did. Obviously, I'm not. I'm the middle guy here. I'm. I'm just. I'm just letting you know why these are taken more serious in the event that that stuff is happening. Because sometimes there are slumlords, right? Like that are doing some really, really shady stuff. And the idea of it was to protect tenants, but at the same time, there are completely legitimate landlords and property owners who uh, arguably, uh, some would argue that, that are getting screwed over by this law when their tenants have been nothing but a pain in the butt the whole time.